You know, I think the highest compliment you can pay a hotel is coming back again and again. And here at the Roundhouse Villas outside of Montego Bay, that's exactly what people do, including Ralph Lauren, Michael Douglas, and Paul McCartney. But people like you and me too. We have been here six times. Oh my God. 20 minutes from the heart of Montego Bay, there's a place steeped in mystique and old world elegance called the Round Hill Hotel and Villas. This jewel of the Caribbean's caught the attention of the rich and famous since the 1950s, including Ralph Lauren, who loved it so much he bought into the resort. But I'm not here for the high thread counts or the turndown service. I'm here to peel back the layers to see if this place holds up to its legend. We checked in a bit early and our villa's not ready, so we'll hit the beach first while we wait for our room. The infinity pool down by the beach is beautiful with a couple levels to choose from with lots of seating and wonderful views. But the resort's real playground is the beach. It's relatively small and for a guy who likes to take long beach walks, this would usually be a negative for me, but here there's a kind of intimacy to the beach. It feels communal in a way, where guests are friendly but not too friendly. And I'm starting to pick up on a positive vibe that's hard to explain, but you know it when you see it. Beach chairs submerged in the water are rare at beach resorts like this. I don't know why, it's such a great way to relax. The swimming platforms are another touch that adds, I don't know, a sort of a reverence to this place that felt a bit formal at first, but that I'm starting to see has a very fun side. The platforms are great for laying in the sun and, of course, swimming. The two beach bars here are busy all day. This one here by the pool, and this beach bar, which gets a 10 out of 10 in my book, and takes me back to what I was saying about the hotel vibe. Relaxed and friendly. But you guys love this place. Yeah, That's this place is safe. wonderful. It's this like this wonderful. It, feels, it really feels like you're coming home. Okay, finally, we were just told our room is ready for the big reveal. There are two basic room options here. These villas that are dotted along the side of the hill, and that's where we'll be. At the bottom of the hill, next to the main pool, is what the Rob House calls the Pineapple House, and what the rest of us might call hotel rooms. Prices here start at about 800 bucks a night and go up from there. These rooms aren't huge, but most have great views and are steps from the beach and restaurant. I would have been more than happy in one of these rooms. They're well decorated and look super comfy. Okay, time to find out how the villas compare. For me, there's always a mix of excitement and dread when I'm walking into what's going to be my home for the next few days. Hopefully, it's as good as the magazine photos, but how many times has that not been the case? Wow. All you regular viewers know that I like fancy stuff, and I'm not that easily impressed, but this is the nicest hotel room I've ever had in my life. That's one living space. There's this other one over here with its own dining table, another dining table, and hey, what place isn't complete with, without three dining tables? So here's a dining, here's dining table three. Uh, this is two bedrooms. I made a mistake when I booked. Um, I thought I was paying for two nights. It was actually one night. I was like, oops. but it is super beautiful. Check this out. It just keeps getting better. This outdoor space is unbelievable. God, I feel like I should call some people and invite them over, but they'd have to get on a plane.
As the day starts to fade, I walk down to the beach that's quieted down a bit, but there are still kids taking advantage of the late afternoon to squeeze in every last minute of another day in paradise. While the adults take in the sunset from one of my all-time favorite beach bars. Okay, time for me to head back up to the room to enjoy what's left of the day and unwind for a minute before dinner, which is supposed to be quite an event around here. Time to get ready for dinner. But I was just told there's a dress code. What's that about? Dinner at the Round Hill is taken seriously. Starting off with the dress code I mentioned. I haven't had the urge to rebel against a dress code since my Catholic high school days. But you know what? I'm wrong. It actually injects this place with some class and just makes coming to dinner that much more of an event. But before we eat, let's swing by the Ralph Lauren Design Bar and get things on the right track. Most nights, there's a live local band at the bar slash restaurant. And you know, live music can go off the rails really easily at a lot of resorts with Celine Dion impersonators. But not here. Music says a lot about a place and these guys nailed it. A great band with a great vibe that adds another layer of fun sophistication to this place. As the night wears on and people drink a bit more, the dance floor pops to life. But I'm gonna need a couple more drinks before you see me out there. Um, if there were a Pillow Olympics, Jamaica would be not doing very well compared to Bali. Bali was so good with pillows and... God, um, this is a really high class place and it's this may be my only negative comment, but um, these pillows, no. They're like a six or a seven, not good. There's a lot more to this resort that I haven't seen, so I'm up early and ready to check out the rest of this place. The kids club is close to the lobby and isn't this cute? They left out these tie-dye shirts to dry. Anyway, a good time to mention that this resort is great for families. Walking past these water fountains is a reminder that the resort gets sustainability points for eliminating single-use plastics. All guests get refillable bottles instead. Down by the beach, there's a second restaurant that serves breakfast, but we won't be eating here. I'll explain why in a minute. I keep walking and here's the dock with tons of water sports available, some free and some not, but tons of activities to choose from. The spa is in its own area and is a five minute walk past the dock, with a path ending at this adults only oasis. There's a massive and really well appointed gym here with trainers too, plus a yoga sala for the resort's daily yoga classes. The spa has its own pool and relaxation area when it's time to get that break from the kids. Alright, I've worked up an appetite and I'm ready to head back to the villa for some breakfast. As I'm walking back, I'm reminded about one of my only nitpicks about this place. It's under the Montego Bay Airport flight path, which is only an issue if the wind's blowing a certain direction, but it is a thing. I paid way too much for this villa and feel kind of stupid, but you know what? I'm going to enjoy it. And the villa does include a cook who comes and prepares your breakfast of choice. Not a bad way to start the day. I love just about everything about the Round Hill. But what I realize is that all the luxury and indulgence can't compete with the time I got to spend with my daughter. That's the real joy of this trip. Pure gold. No trade-offs. Not even for a $2,000 a night villa. In case you're not a hedge fund manager, I've got you covered. With a hidden gem of a hotel where a local guide and I will take the $200 Jamaica Luxury Challenge. Thanks for watching and see us in the next video.